This video lecture covers the topics in uh, Discrete Event Simulation with SLAM Lecture 2. Um, basically, this lecture is oriented uh, toward information you need to do uh, Problem 15.1 plus the embellishment. So it'll cover some basic uh, items, things like uh, the difference between an entity and an entry, uh, collecting statistics for time in the system and time in the queue, busy stats for servers, how to uh, include that in your model, and preempting scheduled events. First of all, entity versus entry. Um, we all know what an entity is. We've talked about that in the network uh, approach to modeling and simulation. So an entity is um, basically uh, those things that flow through the network model. We had entities also in discrete event simulation. They just refer to the basic uh, um, uh, item that uh, is uh, being simulated. Um, an entry, on the other hand, is basically a entry in the file system. So it would refer to an entry in a file. So we have uh, what's called entry pointers in Awesome, where we point to a location in memory where we have information about the entry that's in the file system. Within that information is included an entity pointer, which we've already uh, discussed. An entity pointer points to a location in memory where the attribute ltrib, um, atrib, ltrib, and strib uh, information is stored. So this is a pointer to a location in memory, and the ent entry pointer is a pointer to a location in memory. Um, if something is in a file, it will have an entry pointer. Also, if uh, something, an entity, is on the event calendar, which is a special type of file, it will also have an entry pointer associated with it. If the entity is no longer in a file, it's been removed in the code uh, of an event routine, then the entity only exists in memory, but there is no uh, entry pointer for it. There will only be an entity pointer for it. So it's important that you learn the difference between an entry and an entry pointer and an entity, an entity pointer. Entity pointers point to the attribute information. Entry pointers point to the information in the file. Each entry in a file has a predecessor and successor pointer, which allows you to link up um, the series of items in the file. So creating entities. Um, there is a function called suentnu that's available in the SLAM library. This will create a new entity. It allows you to specify things like the entity type, e-type attribute, the atrib, ltrib, and strib attributes. And when you call this function, it returns um, a pointer to an entity. So it returns a pointer to the, all of this information about the entity that's where it's stored in memory. Um, so for example, um, you can declare a variable, PECUR, for example, that is a type entity pointer. Um, then you can use this attribute any, in any function which requires uh, an entity pointer. So if we call int new, su underscore int new, with um, this information, um, along with the uh, e-type, say one, maybe null attributes in all cases, we can use this special reserved word from awesome um, called null, then that will put zeros or blanks in all the attributes. It returns the entity pointer and stores that in PECUR, and then you can use that for filing the entity in files or storing, uh, scheduling new um, events to, to occur for this particular entity. Okay, we'll resume this again um, at lecture two.